call, man. How about some of that good spaghetti? We got everything. discontented, lazy rabble instead of a thrifty working class. And all because a few starry-eyed dreamers like Peter Bailey stir them up and fill their head with a lot of impossible ideas. Now, I say... Just a minute, just, just a minute. Now, hold on, Mr. Potter. Just a minute. Now, you're right when you say my father was no businessman. I know that. Why he ever started this cheap penny ante building alone, I'll never know. But... Neither you nor anybody else can say anything against his character because his whole life was... Why, in the 25 years since he and Uncle Billy started this thing, he never once thought of himself. Isn't that right, Uncle Billy? He didn't save enough money to send Harry to school, let alone me. But he did help a few people get out of your slums, Mr. Potter. And what's wrong with that? Probably... Here, you're all businessmen here. Don't it make them better citizens? Doesn't it make them better customers? You, you said that they... What did you say just a minute ago? They, they had to wait and save their money before they even thought of a decent home? Wait? Wait for what? Until their children grow up and leave them? Until they're so old and broken down that they... Do you know how long it takes a working man to save $5,000? Just remember this, Mr. Potter, that this rabble you're talking about, they do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. Well, is it too much to have them work and pay and live and die in a couple of decent rooms and a bath? Anyway, my father didn't think so. People were human beings to him, but to you, a warped, frustrated old man, they're cattle. Well, in my book, he died a much richer man than you'll ever be. I'm not interested in your book. I'm talking about the building and loan. I know very well what you're talking about. You're talking about something you can't get your fingers on, and it's galling you. That's what you're talking about, I know. Well, I, I, I've said too much. I... You're the, you're the board here. You do what you want with this thing. There's just one thing more, though. This town needs this measly one-horse institution, if only to have some place where people can come without crawling to Potter. Come on. Look, uh, I think 
maybe you don't want to do better not much of getting your wings wrong. Why, don't they believe in angels? I... Yeah, I don't believe in angels. Oh, why should they be surprised when they see one? Well, he never grew up. He's, uh, how old are you anyway, Clarence? 293, uh, next Nick. That does it. Aren't you two pixies go through the door or out the window? Uh, Nick, what's wrong? No, that's another thing. Where do you come off calling me Nick? Well, Nick, that's your name. But what's that got to do with it? I don't know you from Adam's off Alex. Wait, hey, you really there. Come in, come in. Didn't I tell you never to come panhandling around here, huh? <laughs> Gower. Mr. Gower. What? What is he? Mr. Gower, but this is George Bailey. Don't you know me? Oh. No. to like you. That rum head spent 20 years in jail for poisoning a kid. If you know him, you must be a jailbird yourself. Uh, would you show these gentlemen to the door? Sure. This way, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, uh, get me. Get him out of ways. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe. I don't want any maybe. We've got to find that money. I'm no good to you. Uncle Billy, look, do you realize what's going to happen if we don't find it? Listen to me. Do you have any secret hiding place here in the house? Some place you would have, some place you hide the money. I've come over the whole house, even in rooms that have been licensed since I lost Lord. Listen, listen to me. Think, think. I can't think, think. anymore, George. I can't think anymore. It hurts. Where's that money, you silly, stupid old fool? Where's that money? Do you realize what this means? It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. That's what it means. One of us is going to jail. Well, it's not going to be me. Oh, I left right in the middle of it. As soon as I got Mary's telegram. Good idea, Ernie. A toast. <laughs> to my big brother, George, the richest man in town. <laughs> Right. Oh, boy, Clarence. 